territory. Here we come. So we've decided to drive 1,400 kilometres in three days. We're heading up through the red dirt guts of Australia on the Sturt Highway. On day one of this adventure, we're leaving Rawnsley Station, planning to push past 500k. I'm driving first, so Howie can get a good gander as we farewell the fabulous Flinders Ranges. We've got a date to meet a friend up in Alice Springs, and that means we've got to cover some Ks quickly. Well, we've found a park up. <laughs> All ours. There's a mast. The highway. Birds. And over here, it's a real feature. In the dark. Some bones there. No reception, no toilet, no shower. I suppose this is the camp tour. <laughs> and there's another part of the car. So I'm looking at, looking at the sunset going. You know, should get the drone up. Um, but we're just inside the Woomera defence zone, so um, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. If not, here's a nice little shot of the sunset. We might hear a bit of this all night. Well, not all night, one every now and then. Successfully navigated another another free camp um, about an uh, hour and a half south of Cooper Pedy. It's like over there. That's the Woomera Defence Region Sector Area. <laughs> That's it. That's it. On the road, we're off to Cooper Pedy. Oh, hold on. And then there's like there are some animal tracks here. Oh, we're, off. we're tracking again. A horse, camel. I oh, know it's not a horse. It's a horse. Camel or a cow. Camel or a cow. Could be a camel actually. Look at this one. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking at. Do they have camels here? It's a mystery. Who knows? Might be a dingo. There will be some mysteries today. Yes. Shadowing. Uh, Cooper Petey, here we come. Visitors park in free camp. Oh, there's the free camp. Let's follow it out. See if we can find a spot. What about next to that one? Yeah, yeah, sweet. All good, all good. Yeah. Cooper Petey. A little while ago, we didn't get it on film, but a little while ago there were three dogs that just 
galloped down the main street and then we went and did something we came out and we saw them galloping back down the main street <laughs> i wonder if they're like a tourist attraction <laughs> galloping dogs <laughs> of cooper Pete. main street also down here there's a um a crashed spacecraft used to be a um, part of a film set here no no it's real no, it's real fly over <laughs> Story time? Story time. Cooper Peedy, story time. Break it down. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Cooper Peedy, story time. So I think this is what's known as the jewelry shop area. Um, and we've just been reading about it. The old Italian club is my favourite story. The old Italian club was over here. The Italian miners had decided they wanted a place to get together, do some great jamming and drinking. And they had the club here. They didn't make a lot of money because apparently they donated a lot of their money to a lot of their income to the Royal Flying Doctor Service. But then the club itself closed down in about 1968. And um, closed down because the town boundaries were redrawn and they couldn't get a liquor license because they were considered to be outside the town boundaries. So they moved. Here's the good part of the story. When they were closing the place down, they discovered some seams of opal worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And that was the beginning of this site being turned into a, an opal finding place. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Oh, look at us, happy-go-lucky, going for a walk in Kubapedi, going for a walk to the Serbian Orthodox Church, which was a good idea when it was a good idea, and less so when we got lost and hot, and you can't just walk cross-country because you might fall down a mine. What do you do? You have an old mine and you've finished doing all the mining parts. You turn it into a house. So we're walking along this road, uh, heading into town, Cooper Pedy, saw a sign and uh, like it is. There is nowhere else on this planet quite like Cooper Pedy. Rightly famous for opal mining and intriguing cool underground buildings, it's full of ingenuity, eccentric character and characters. It's really an experience. to head off. Really good little day yesterday. The game for today as we head up 
north is to watch the fuel prices climb and climb. So we're just um, leaving Garn or Eldrunda. Eldrunda. Um, said to be one of the centres of Australia. Looks like there's about six of them. Um, and when we're out hiking the Larapinto, it looks like it's going to be very close to the furthest from the coast. Yeah, furthest point in the ocean. Yeah. And I think that's pretty close to the centre of Australia. Yeah. We're in the red centre. Ready. Curtain Springs, free campsite. somewhere to the free section um. a mere 200 kilometer side quest from Curtin Springs the iconic red rock Crossroads of dreaming stories. Uluru. There are free activities and tours included in the price of entry, and we were stoked to catch the 10 a.m. two hour Mala walk guided by Indigenous Rangers. It flew by and absolutely blew our minds. We learnt so much, it was worth every cent.
sad we can't stay longer, but next stop, Alice Springs and adventures in the West McDonnell Ranges. And how he was spot on about the fuel. It, it might have been on the whole time. Oh, I've got a story. I'm sure he tells that story all the time, but you know. He tells it well, though. He does.